Right on, guys. I'm back. I'm going to open this transmission up on the case we split. Uh, there's one, two, three, four. Now, I already drained the fluid out, the rear end fluid. There's two spots. There's one on the side, and there's one on the bottom. You know, I always do the one on the bottom, let all the shit leak out of it, and then I take the one out of the side, or you can leave the one in the side in, it don't matter. But anyways, then you take the, there's four or five, there's six bolts holding the tranny it together, the guts in the tranny. So we'll take those six bolts out, we'll set them aside here. And then you just take your little hammer or whatever you got. I use a hammer. And then you tap. There's some places where you can tap on it. Alright. Once we get a gap going in it, we'll take a little screwdriver. Stick under the... Once we get a little gap going, we can take a screwdriver and start lifting it up, prying it up in different spots. Because it, the bearing has to come over this shaft. Or, or the gears have to come apart inside. So we'll get this thing going here. There you go, it's starting to pop out. Just take your screwdriver and lift up on it, work it out, and then here's what you got. You just wiggle it, your gasket. Right here, your guide, you got a guide. There's actually two guides on this. You wanna take them out and put them to the side so you don't lose them. But anyways, there, your transmission is apart. You know, you're gonna have to, you know, you remove all your gasket material. You know when you're cleaning up but anyways whenever you replace your short axle you don't do anything to this side you take this out you know you're gonna like I said you're gonna remove your gasket material and clean it all up just set it set that aside this side set this aside and then what you're gonna do and this is your final drive gear you're gonna be taking out you got a big gear this big gear you take that out, and then you take, you reach in and you pull this out. These are your final, when you buy final drive gears, these are the three gears you get. Actually, you get this, see this gear? You get this one for sure when you buy them. Now on this one, if you buy the pre-pressed, if you buy pre-pressed, you also get this gear that I'm show, rubbing with my finger here. You get that if you buy the pre-pressed. If you don't buy the pre-pressed, then you you have to take this to a shop if you don't have a press, and you got to have this gear taken off of this shaft right here. This shaft, you will get a new shaft minus this gear if you don't buy pre-pressed. If you buy pre-pressed, you get this shaft that has different number of teeth than this one, and then you get this gear. And this gear has the same teeth whether you buy it pre-pressed or not pre-pressed. You know, if you buy it pre-pressed, you're getting the same gear. So, I suggest getting a press or finding somebody that will unpress this gear. That way you're not paying an extra $25 for a gear that you already fucking got. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. But I hope that made sense. But anyways, the axle here, the axle is right here, see? Now you can reach in there and just pull the axle right out. Voila! Axle out, throw it to the side, and then when your new ax short axle, you know, you put your new short axle in, you know? So, uh... I'll show you, I'll put that back together on another video. Like I said, I'll take all this stuff now. I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to clean it up really good. 
then I'm gonna get my work area cleaned up so I don't have no trash or nothing in the way whenever I reassemble this engine and then we'll reassemble this engine with a new short axle we'll put the crankshaft back in it we'll bore that we'll bore it. first thing we're going to do is bore the thing out to fit a 61 millimeter jug then we'll put the short axle back in it and then we'll reassemble it put the crank in it put the top end on it and we'll make it a complete engine so i hope that i'm hoping that you know i realize my videos are long because i don't edit them I mean, I probably would if I knew how, but I don't know. I'm not so much worried about that because when I like when I watch videos on YouTube to to know how to do something, I like a detailed video and I like to be talked through it step by step. And I realize, you know, that you guys ain't got the best camera angle, but I'm hoping that I'm explaining enough that you can make heads or tails out of what the fuck's going on. And then that way you can get some benefit and actually be able to do this work without having to pay somebody to do it. That would just tickle me to death, you know. So if you, if I can teach somebody something, good for me, good for you, you know. I want to see everybody, you know. You know, riding scooters is fun as hell. You got to be able to maintain them and work on them. And you can make a living doing this. You can make money doing this, you know. Once you learn how to do this, fellas, you'll be able to fucking work on all your buddies' bikes and stuff. Trade beer, weed, whatever the fuck, you know. Do something. They're always going to want you to do it for free. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. If you learn all this, you know, if you do it right, you can make a living. But if you if you just give everybody the friends and family rate, you're, you're just going to be fucking yourself. You're going to be doing a lot of work. For a lot of for a little to nothing so right on guys scooter deuce is out take it easy by the way scooter deuce is my alter ego you guys will have to check out my uh tiktok page right on be groovy